Uh, hello everyone and welcome to the third video of this series on multi-period accounting in financial accounting hub. Uh, in the last video I showed the, uh, we stopped at the place where we def defined the, all the three journal lines. The next step of configuration is to attach those journal lines in the general line rule set. That's a common for any other uh, configuration of the in financial accounting hub. So there is nothing specific into it. The only thing I wanted to explain here is the in the recognition general line, I have attached the account rule which I defined for recognition. So there is nothing specific into it related to multi period accounting. So yeah, that is it as far as the configuration is concerned. Uh, now let us see the data file. Uh, so I have already prepared the data file. So this transaction number is known and all these things. The text I have created like this is the prepay line. This is the liability line. The, mm, the line type. Okay. The next one is uh, the amount here. 4000. 4, Num1, one, 1 is for debit, 2 is for credit. That's what I have configured. You can configure in any other way. Uh, okay, the important point for multiple accounting is this one, date 1 and date 2. Remember, I have uh, I said that we have to have, the data file should have two fields of the date related to multiple accounting, the start date and the end date. So these are the those two date fields, okay? So this is the line file. And uh, there is nothing specific to multi-period accounting in the header file that I already have. I already zipped it. Now let us import this file to system. So I imported it. Now go to schedule process and first import the transaction, import the file. Import accounting transaction. So import accounting transaction is the specific process. Again, this is not a specific to multi-period accounting. This is uh, same for any other process of financial accounting hub. So this is the file which I uploaded. I submitted it. So now this process will create this accounting entry. And so assume we are on December 1st, the transaction has come. Uh, December 1st of 19, and this transaction has come to our system. That's what I have done. And uh, so this accounting entry will be created. So this is same as any other transaction which comes the, to the financial accounting hub. The tricky part is for multi-period accounting is it starts from here. And for this, to get this, we have to run uh, another process which I will show you. So, So once this process completes, we need to trigger other, another process to generate the multi-period accounting. Uh, multi -period, accounting related to the multi-period accounting, MPA feature. So let it complete. It may take time, so let me see if you can pause my video to save your time. Uh, video recording. I'm not very sure if you can pause it. Sorry about it. I'm not sure how to pause it. Okay, so this is what I 
yeah so it is completed now okay so now this accounting is created we can see the accounting so this is what it is created okay now every month we have to schedule or probably in the month end to generate as in as in when the month gets over we need to generate this accounting and to generate that accounting we need to run a process called create multi period accounting create multi period accounting you have to give the application name and the period for which we want to generate the accounting entry and uh, that is it submit so this process will take a bit of time so i got submitted so i'm pausing the video for some time okay welcome back so now this process is completed let me show you the report before that what is our expectation our expectation is that for the december month it should create this accounting if you remember for the recognition account i had put the natural account as this one Okay, so let us see it has happened or not. Okay, yes, this is it. Natural account is this, amount is this, and this is what our prepaid account, which is getting relieved every month. So this is for the month of, and accounting date we can see it's thirty first December of nineteen. That's what we expected. So, and every month if we go to 31st of january 20 it will do the same thing for the 29th february 20 it will do the it will create the accounting as per the amount which has been shown so uh, that is it from my side i hope it was a useful uh, useful discussion if you have any comment any improvement suggestion do post in the comment box so that i can improve that in the upcoming videos yeah that is it thanks a lot for watching have a nice day bye bye